Hi, everyone, and welcome to The Sizzler. We're in Pico Rivera, California. I'm Ronnie Wald with episode number eight of the Vinny Lopez Show. You know the great El Rancho Don's football program. We're in 2013, and here's Coach Lopez with us right now. And Coach, you have to be quite exciting. Well, you started off now Del Rio League play now 3-0 and with a great 22-15 to comeback victory at California on Friday. Yeah, you know, it's an exciting time to be at dawn. You know, we feel really good about where we've set ourselves up at this point. Uh, you know, but it's not over. The journey's not over. We still, we're not satisfied being 3-0. and um, The goal is to go out and beat Santa Fe this week. And, uh, you know, we got to get better every week. And uh, the kids played phenomenal. Um, we spotted Cal to start the game, a touchdown with an interception. And uh, we came back and we... Um, we, we battled defensively. We didn't give up a touchdown at all. We held them to three field goals. And, uh, you know, offensively, we just we, we took care of it when we needed to most, and uh, we did a fantastic job. So I couldn't be more happy and more proud of the kids than where we are right now. Great. Now your record, 5-3, and three, and you've got somewhat of a mini winning streak going on as well. Yeah, we won three in a row at this point, and, uh, you know, we're, we're enjoying it and we're happy where we're at, but we got to go after Santa Fe this week. I mean, um, you know, really Santa Fe helps us set up. Uh, it's a guaranteed at that point. If we beat Santa Fe, it's guaranteed we're in the playoffs. Uh, right now there is a, a one wacky scenario, I call it, where uh, we could still miss the playoffs if, if uh, you know, we slide into it into the end of the season and Cal happens to beat Santa Fe, then that creates a three-way tie for second place uh, between us, Cal, and Santa Fe, and then it would go down to a coin toss um, to see who's out. Um, but, you know, we feel good about where we're at. We feel really confident. Last year we played Santa Fe tough. Uh, in fact, we had them beat, in my opinion, twice. Uh, we had two 12-digit leads, 12-point uh, leads over them, and uh, we allowed them to come back in the game and, and to catch us and beat us 44-43. But, um, you know, we're, we're all right. We'll be ready for Santa Fe. And, uh, you know, we're, we're excited to be where we are right now. Um, it's been a long time since El Rancho started off 3-0. 1997 was the last time they started off 3-0 in Del Rio League play. And, um, you know, we're, we're playing for something in November. So it's, it's nice. We feel good. Okay, Coach, we'll come back to you in a moment. Now, first, the offensive player of the game Friday, Javi Carrillo. You're an old pro. You've been interviewed by us before. Tell us now, another rabbit pulled out of the hat by quarterback Ryan Araujo, and he found you with a 55-yard strike to win the ball game. Let's face it, most of the ball game California led. Did you have any reservations, any fears about making that catch at the end? Uh, no, no, I didn't. I mean, I'm just out there doing my thing, and we, we practice all the time, and I just, I, I do me, and that's like, yeah. How is it that your team seems to have ice water running through its veins in the final minutes? You seem to come back. I mean, this Don's team really has no fear, does it? I mean, we're, we're better than, than what we're playing. We, we, like, we should be scoring points, like, in the 50, 50 range, but for some reason, we just, we don't, we don't execute right, and... I, that just that comes back to us. All right, now let's turn it over to the defensive star of Friday's game, Drew Carabello. Drew, hey, your defense has to be credited. It's doing a great job this year, and you only allowed 15 measly points to California. So uh, let's say something positive about the big D for this Don's team. Yeah, well, uh, it's all preparation, and with the coaches helping us, preparing against Cal's offense and their tendencies so it's it really helps coming into the game all right now give us a preview of what you think's going to happen friday with santa fe they're a tough team yeah it's going to be uh just a battle back and forth but we should come away with the game offensively and defensively just over overpower them okay thank you guys for the visit offensive and defensive stars of friday games are going to wind it up now with Coach Lopez, Coach, you gave us a little bit of a preview on the Santa Fe game, but really uh, it turned out in the preseason prognostications that Lucerne and Santa Fe were to be the top team in the Del Rio League. Well, now you find yourself on top of the heap. Uh, I guess it's in a tie right now, a 3-0 and mark. So not only are you enthused by that, but one more time, give us the playoff scenario. You feel you're going to make it, but it may be a little bit tricky there. 
Yeah, you know, anything can happen. Uh, going back to what you had talked about with Javi real quick, uh, the ice water in the veins, I think a lot of that is our senior leadership. Um, you know, these guys have a ton of experience. We have a ton of seniors on the field. And, uh, you know, when you have that level of experience, there is no, there's no doubt, there's no nothing there it's we're gonna go out there we're gonna execute and, they, and they're doing a fantastic job on both sides of the ball um offensively and defensively even our special teams has improved tremendously since league play um and so i can't credit the senior class enough for the things that they're doing uh as far as the playoff scenarios go and and you know everybody thought it was going to come down to santa fe and lacerna you know we don't get concerned with things that are outside of our control you know people are going to write stuff and reporters have opinions everybody's got an opinion of of who's going to be where when it all ends up and you know at this point we still control our own destiny and we can still go out and win league like we expect to um you know playoff scenarios the best one is go out and win uh we go out and win and and it's over uh we're in the playoffs there's no ifs ands or buts about it um you know, we still feel really good, and you know, no matter what happens, um, we're going to be playing Lucerna next week for a league championship. Well, it looked like your coaching staff was a little concerned until the last couple minutes of that game Friday, but then you were able to burst into a great smile. Give us a little bit of that <laughs> beautiful <laughs> Vinny Lopez smile. For three quarters of the game, the guy was really tense, but somehow he loosened right up thanks to the incredible pass play. Araujo to this guy right here, Javi Carrillo, 55-yard pass play. You're able to seal the deal and get the victory. Now 3-0 and in conference. Look forward to seeing you on Friday with the Santa Fe game. Yeah, absolutely. It should be a fantastic game. Um, I expect another tight game. Uh, you know, they played us tough last year, and uh, we expect the same type of com uh, competitive all-out war on Friday night. And, uh, you know, a lot's riding on it for Santa Fe, and a lot's riding on it for us. So uh, we want to go out there and secure the victory and, and set us up for a league championship. So got to go 1-0 this week, Ronnie. All right, back home here in beautiful Pico Rivera. If you can't make it to the game, a program note will bring it to you live on wildcast.com starting at 7 p.m. on the West Coast. Again, this Don's team, the 3-0 Don's team, taking on Santa Fe. What a matchup. It'll be huge. And thank you again, Javi and Drew. And we wish you all the best. We know you'll be ready to play. And try to extend that now to 4-0 because, as you said, you can't just take it for granted to get in the playoffs. You're going to have to try to go after everything, and particularly in these last two games. No, absolutely. You know, Santa Fe is a playoff team from last year. They were they went all the way to the semifinals. They had upset La Mirada and played well. Uh, you know, so for us, it's, you know, this is a playoff level football team. So, uh, you know, for us to have real success in the playoffs, we got to go out there and beat Santa Fe. Trying to get back to the playoffs for the first time since 2010. Okay, so a lot is riding on this. Okay, let's see your smiles one more time. Why not? 3-0, and Don's team, 3-0 and in conference, 5-3 and overall, and a great game coming up Friday on Waltcast.com. Look forward to talking to you then. For the gang and for Coach Lopez, Ronnie Walt from Sizzler in Pico Rivera.